We have an important debate going on here in Washington on health care. We all agree that health care should be accessible and affordable, but the plan that the Obama administration and the Democrats in Congress are pushing is not that program. It will not make health care more affordable. It will not improve the quality of care, in my opinion, and it will result in rationing of care. When you or your loved one is sick and needs care, you don't want the federal bureaucracy making a choice as to who the doctor is or who the surgeon or even what hospital uh, you should be admitted to. I've never known of a government plan, uh, and I've studied several in uh, other countries, all government-run health care rationing, rationing is an important part of that care. Uh, they ration care. Even in Oregon, a state that has a comprehensive state-run program, they ration care. They tell elderly, I'm sorry, you're too old, you're too sick, you're too infirm, uh, we're not going to spend money on you. And that's a, that is not the American way. Um, also, uh, you don't want the federal bureaucracy uh, between you and your doctor. Uh, the choice of a doctor, the choice of, of treatment, the choice of care, ought to be up to you. Private health insurance has worked well. And uh, I think any uh, government program uh, that all of a sudden says we're going to provide care, it's going to cost, it's going to cost millions of Americans uh, to lose their employer supplied health care. Uh, I believe that not only you're going to have rationing, you're going to have limited choice, but it's going to cost one trillion dollars. Now that's at a time when we're running massive deficits, at a time when we're having trouble uh, financing our debt. Uh, we're beholden to the Chinese, we're beholden to uh, the Middle Eastern countries, many of whom, whom don't like us, uh, and we're having to borrow money. Uh, now is not the time to borrow even more. In fact, I'm afraid we're going to have a financial a shipwreck uh, because of all this money we're borrowing and these massive deficits. Uh, we can't just rush into this plan. Uh, you can't have an overhaul of health care uh, on the fly. You know, we, they did that with the stimulus plan. and They said it was going to bring down unemployment. You, you see it hasn't brought down unemployment. In fact, unemployment has gone from 8 to 10 percent. Now, that's nothing that I rejoice over. But the stimulus plan, it's it stimulated government. It's given government more money to, to spend, but it really hasn't, in, uh, it hasn't created any jobs in the private sector. In fact, I believe because it's taken your money and money of other Alabama families, it's probably hurt jobs. Uh, I've heard some very good ideas from doctors, from hospitals, from patients and seniors in Alabama. Uh, I want to see them incorporated on, uh, into this plan. I want to see a plan that doesn't uh, load the government and you and taxpayers and your children and grandchildren down with another trillion dollars. When a time, in fact, just yesterday, I heard that the deficit next year may be two trillion dollars, not a trillion dollars, a two trillion dollars. Uh, we simply can't afford that. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your views. Uh, and I encourage you to, uh, to tell me what you think. Uh, let me know your views. Let me give you my email. It's Congressman Backus at mail dot house dot gov. That's Congressman Backus, no space between Congressman and Backus, at mail dot house dot gov, G O V for the gov. Uh, quality, affordable health care, uh, no rationing, uh, and letting you make the choice and the government not getting between the government and the federal bureaucracy between you and your doctor. Well, that's what I hope we can all agree on. And at the same time, let's address the problems we have with the high cost of insurance uh, for particularly our low and middle income families. Thank you very much.